It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today, you're gonna see why this camera, the Fuji X100V, is the best travel camera. I'm a freelance photographer here in California. I do videos on Canon and Fuji and talk about camera gear and some tutorials. And so today we're gonna look at some travel photography with the Fuji X100V. But first, you're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. You're gonna see some travel photos I took in the Hudson River Valley, uh, which is outside of New York City about an hour, which was the first stop of a vacation that I recently took. And I'm actually gonna do a series of videos on why the Fuji X1RV is the answer. Uh, you should be aware that I took this camera to the Hudson River Valley, I took it to London, I took it to Rome, I took it to Florence, and back to New York City. So kind of five stops, five parts in this series. Okay, now I did another video about why this is the best uh, travel camera. It's light, it's compact, it has Fuji film simulations. Um, it's fixed lens, uh, which I like because I don't have to make decisions about which lens to bring and bringing extra gear. Um, I did add a filter on here, and this is the Cinebloom 5% from Moment. So I added that uh, to help kind of uh, soften the images a little bit, uh, get that film look. And I also programmed a film recipe from The Big Negative. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel. And I absolutely loved that for 90% of my shots that I used. So I had that set to a custom uh, setting. And one of the things that I liked is that this camera was always on me. I just had it in a sling bag, I took it wherever. And so one of the things that I'm gonna show you is some pictures I took at a car show that we ended up seeing. Uh, there was a state park with a lake we walked around and after we came around that walk from the lake, we are uh, Bear Mountain State Park and we parked and walked around the lake and then when we stopped, there was a car show happening. A lot of cool cars, young and old, old and new. Uh, I guess it's every Wednesday in the summer, they have these car shows and some very killer shots with this camera. And as the cars were pulling onto this huge grass lawn, I got a couple of shots that really isolated a, a car or two that I thought were just impeccable and classy. And it was the, f the film simulation, but also the portability of the camera, the sharpness of the lens. This 23 millimeter lens is amazing. So that was one of the best shots that I had in upstate New York. And there was another uh, we, uh, time we had a lunch at a Jones farm and um, there was a, a tractor sitting out on the lawn and I walked over there and I got a couple of shots of the tractor that showed the detail, but also how it sat in the landscape. And I really thought that kind of had a cinematic picturesque, picturesque look because the F2 aperture that is part of this, uh, the lens on this camera. So that was another example of how this uh, camera just rocked. And, and there, were a, a, there was a sunset uh, near the trestles, which is a train bridge that goes across um, this area around, uh, I think it's New Windsor. And so at sunset, we took some pictures of the train uh, crossing the bridge, the trestles and the sun behind it. And um, I found to get kind of a sun star, you have to remove this Cinebloom filter. That was one of the things I learned is remove this. You get that sun star effect uh, more effectively. And um, so actually a cool shot of kind of these, um, you know, sheafs or not sheafs, but um, staffs of grass or it wasn't wheat, but it reminds me of wheat in front of the sunset. So I'll show those examples. And then a great portrait of Emma, the dog that uh, belonged to Faye with uh, my wife's friend that we were staying with, my friend too. And uh, a great portrait of uh, Emma and another portrait of another dog uh, with a writer friend of my wife's, Betsy Crane. Uh, we went and uh, I think that dog's name is Pearl, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, an epic shot of Pearl. And this to me looks like American Gothic uh, part dog. <laughs> so if American Gothic, the painting was uh, done with a dog, it would be this uh, painting. And so uh, just a handful of collection of images from the Hudson River Valley. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you're interested in this uh, camera as a travel camera. 
it is a performer. Now, I will do a video probably on the accessories, not just the filter, but this grip that I added because it was uh, so much easier to use with that on it. All right, until next time, uh, see you. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, and another tip, I programmed the film look from the big negative into my Fuji X uh, T4 and I'm filming on it. So I'm kind of curious how it looks. Now, not all the settings are there, the grain setting isn't there, but we'll see how it does. All right. Peace.